Welcome back everyone. Today we'll talk about Kyrie malformations. We have two types of Kyrie malformations and they're both caused by displacement of the posterior fossa content, which is the infratentorial area here, through formal magnum. Type 1 causes the displacement of the cerebellar tonsil, while type 2 displaces more of the cerebellum, including its vermis and tonsil, along with the medulla. Type 1 is usually asymptomatic, but may present with headache later on in life, while type 2 is more severe as it causes hydrocephalus, along with the compression of respiratory and swallowing center in the medulla, so it presents with apnea and dysphagia. Type 1 is usually associated with syringomalia, also known as syrinx, and type 2 is usually associated with meningomyelocele. To remember the features of type 1, I remember TAS, so tonsillar herniation, asymptomatic, and syringomyelia. And for type 2, I remember MAD, so meningomyelocele, aqueduct and medulla compression, and dangerous because it has a lot of symptoms. And here's a small quiz. So where do we see syringomyelia, which is associated with type 1? And we see it in the cervical spine. On the other hand, meningomyelocele occurs in the lumbar area. 